On Thursday, August 19th, Governor Hogan visited the Queen Anne Hillsborough Fire Department. The governor was there to honor the life of Chief Daniel Lister, who passed away in September of 2018. The governor met and spoke with the fire company and the family of Chief Lister, and also unveiled a new sign that dedicates a portion of 404 to Chief Lister. Welcome, everybody. I thank everybody for attending this uh, ceremony today. It's been a it's been a long um, long road, um, most of it because of COVID, but we we're able to get it done. Um, I do want to uh, thank Johnny Mouse for personally to stick stay to this and keep on track in um, the state of Maryland for doing what they're doing um, in State Highway. Um, I really don't have much else to say, but I will introduce Governor Hogan, and he's got a few words for everybody. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Johnny Mounts. Um, thank you for all being here as we honor uh, the life and the memory of Assistant Fire Chief Danny Lister. You know, as nearly three years have passed uh, since we were forced to say goodbye to one of our state's true heroes. And on that September day, back in 2018, uh, Danny Lister heard that call come in for a head-on crash along Route 404 in Talbot County. And just as he had been doing every day, for his 15 years in the fire service, Danny answered the call. Despite the time that has passed, I know that Danny's loss is still deeply felt by his family and by his uh, fellow firefighters here at the Queen Anne Hillsborough Volunteer Fire Company. Um, while there are really no words that can ever truly show our appreciation and our respect for Danny's selfless service. Uh, today, on behalf of all of the people of Maryland, uh, we offer a small token of our eternal gratitude with the dedication of a portion of Maryland 404 in honor of Danny Lister. Uh, we do this with the knowledge that Danny's life is not only marked by that last call that he answered, uh, but by a lifetime's worth of service to his community and to the state. I know that Danny loved the fire company, and uh, he held multiple positions of leadership over the years, including lieutenant, captain, assistant chief, deputy chief, and chief. When he wasn't volunteering, he worked as a risk manager for Queen Anne's County. And those who knew him best say that uh, Danny had an easy smile, a sense of humor, and that he knew how to enjoy the simple things in life. Danny Lister is not only a hero because he died in the line of duty, he's a hero because of the truly incredible life of service that he led. I believe that all of our first responders are at their best and their goodness and compassion shines brightest uh, when others are most in need. Every single day, uh, these heroes like Danny answer the call to protect their communities and to serve something greater than themselves. So today, as we dedicate this portion of Maryland 404, uh, we remember Danny Lister and we thank him. We also continue to pray for his family and friends uh, that they find comfort and strength knowing that he will not ever be forgotten. And we are reminded that his legacy will forever live on, not just with this highway dedication, but also through the men and women 
of our proud fire and first responder families who continue to show their steadfast commitment to their professions and to letting their lives and their actions uh, carry on the goodness, the dedication, and the selfless service that marked the life of our fallen hero, Danny Lister. May God bless him, God bless his family, and God bless the men and women of this fire company and all of our dedicated men and women in the fire and rescue services. And may God continue to bless the great state of Maryland. Thank you. So good morning. Um, my name is Tim Smith. I'm SHA, uh, MDOT SHA's administrator. I'm happy to be here today. Um, in 2015, uh, the Hogan administration asked us to kind of focus on 404 and fix the safety improvements through there and get that done by Thanksgiving of 2017. Uh, we, we collaborated, we rolled up our sleeves, worked with not only the local community, but also worked with our local fire and um, and police law enforcement. And through that collaboration, we were able to deliver some improvements along 404. Uh, with that, MDOT's typically looking at the engineering side of safety, but we know with our first responders, emergency response is so critical. And th that's so critical to safety along the entire corridor. And first responders put their, put their themselves in harm's way every single day. Uh, to protect us on the roadway and save a life when they have the opportunity. So today is a, an opportunity uh, for both Maryland and especially MDOT State Highway Administration just to honor one of our fallen heroes and our first responders, um, Danny Lister. So he was instrumental in, in, in ensuring safety along that entire corridor, and we're just hoping this is a small token uh, just to remember his, his legacy. So thank you. Well, that concludes our ceremony. I would again thank everybody for attending. Um, this has been this has been a really moving moment. Um, Danny was a good friend, and he's he's missed a lot. Thank you.